Major, what do you got in the front of this little Minimax here? A third of a Corvair engine. Third of a Corvair engine? What do you yeah. mean a third of a Corvair? The front third of a Corvair engine. We actually have a little um, mathematical formula. You know, it's kind of kind of similar to a half Volkswagen, but our formula is one third is greater than a half. A third of a Corvair is greater than a half of Volkswagen. But so, in here. Now, how did you? What, did you just cut it in half? No, just it, it, it's similar to what's done with the with the half Volkswagens. You know, you cut the block, cut the crank, um, use use the parts you have left. You know. So, um, I built a couple. I built a couple half Volkswagen engines before, and, um, and I'd also built a full Corvair engine into an airplane engine, and and I built a full Volkswagen engine as, a, as an airplane engine for my Sonray too. And once I got my hands on the Corvair stuff, the, the insides of the Corvair is just, in my opinion, it's just a better engine than the Volkswagen. And we wanted an ultralight engine, and I thought, why not try a Corvair engine as an ultralight engine? The, the same way they do the half Volkswagen engines. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking the half Volkswagen engine. There's a lot of them out there doing a good job. And whatever gets you in the air is fine with me, you know, but this is the way I wanted to get in the air. So. How many horsepower do you figure you're putting out with? We estimate at 3,500 based on the pitch and diameter of the prop compared to what the Volkswagen guys are claiming for that same pitch and diameter, so. Now, are you offering this in the market as a kit or plans or how you? We've decided to, to draw it up and sell plans to it. And then uh, if uh, if we get a good response to that, we might uh, consider um, altering, um, you know, owner provided parts. Like if they'll send me their block, I'll do the machine work on it for them, you know. But we're, we don't, we're, I don't think we're ever going to get into full engines that we produce and, and sell. Now, what type of changes would you have to make to the Corvair engine in order to make it work uh, on this? Oh, well, yeah. You, you only need one cylinder head, so if you have a Corvair engine that you got that's only got like half the top end on it. You take that part, that cylinder head. There's a, there's an automatic place built into them that you have to cut them to. Um, well, the simple plate on the, on the ends of the rocker area, and that kind of completes the heads. Um, the case is cut um, between two cylinders, and and the crankshafts cut down, and, and counterweights are added onto it, just like the, the half Volkswagen. So it's the same, the same level of effort as a half Volkswagen. The, the prop attaches to the same place that the flywheel used to attach um, in, in the car, and the same place that they're attaching the, uh, the propeller to on the, on the six-cylinder version. So we're only putting a third of the horsepower through um, what's already working for the six-cylinder guys. You know. What about carburetion? We've got a little a, high, a Harley side draft carburetor down there underneath it, so we could maintain gravity feed without a pump. Now, has this one actually been up and flying yet? That's, that's not a polite question to ask because our ultralight's way overweight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if it was a hypothetical question uh -huh. that this aircraft was, was, was it or could it ever have been flying? It, it technically could fly. It technically could fly. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, and you mentioned the horsepower was how much? About 35. About 35 horsepower. Right. And, what are, and we're uh, developing that at what RPM? Uh, we're turning that propeller, the um, 3300 RPM static, and... Um, well, then I'd have to say how many RPM we're seeing in the air, but it turns 3,300 RPM static. Okay. Now, all of the parts then in the engine are just standard Corvair They're stock parts. Corvair parts. They're not, nothing's bored out, nothing's stretched to the limit, nothing, you know, so the studs are all going to stay in, the, you know, the pistons aren't going to come swapping holes, and, you know, it, it's going to stay together. What all weight do you have then? We have an 80-pound engine right there. You take it off, put it on scale right now, it weighs 80 pounds. So if somebody want to get more information, how do they get a hold of you? Well, we started a website for it at www.ultravera.com, uh, or they can call me on, on the phone. Uh, we have a phone number, 319-981-6761. And um, visit the website, though. We've got a lot of information about it on the website. Okay, for those that don't have uh, Internet access or old like me and really don't know how to use it, do you have a name and address of the company? And yeah, it's Ultravera, Ultravera Aviation. Uh, our address is 1632 Memorial Drive in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 52403. Okay. Uh, is there an email there, too? Uh, there's email at our website, but, but it'd be www.ultravera.com. And then there's a bunch of contacts. You can contact any of us at, at, at Ultravera. Thank you very much for your time. Sure.